Hello and thank you for joining us. This video is brought to you by the streamingadvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment through streaming. We were the first to bring you a look at the Gbox Q, and today we are going to take a look at how to load the latest stable firmware for the device, firmware 1.2. But first let's take a look at what you have with the setup for 0.9.1. You have a section called Videos, which includes Gallery, Google Play, and the Media Center, which is actually XBMC or Kodi. We have this section for Music, which is basically your music. We have Apps, which is this sort of fluorescent look for apps. and we have the settings. Here you have your Android settings, you got your network, and the OTA updater. If you have a version of the firmware that you would like to upgrade to 1.2, this is where you're going to want to start. Some firmwares, they call it system updater. So you start here, you're going to go to System, and you're going to go to Check for Updates. I'm going to choose Manual, and what it's going to do is populate available updates. Once the list is populated, go to the update for 1.2 and navigate to the right. Now, we've already done an update but if you haven't done the update you're going to notice it has an it'll have an arrow like where you see new firmware 1.1 in this case we've already done the update so we have a different icon but you want to come here and just press OK and let the updater do its job and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do that it's going to tell us what we're going to do I don't really have to read this to you, but you say update, and this is going to turn off, and when it comes back on, we're going to show you the rest of the process. Okay, so here we are. This is version 1.2 of the firmware, and you can see there's already some subtle differences. It now has a more textured background. Your media center has a sort of checkered look. It's kind of a branded Matricom thing. It has this teal going for it. You notice this is Cody up in the corner. And this is a clean build of the program. There are no extra programs added in. We're going to exit that, and we're just going to sort of take a look at the way things look on this one. First off, they've added some things to the top. You've got your DLNA. And here's where you're going to set up things like AirPlay. Under music, you have far more than just your own music. You now have the choice to start Pandora or TuneIn Radio. Those are Android apps, of course. The apps section has been changed a bit. The colors aren't quite as bright. They're a little more muted. And under settings, we now have an app switcher and what that does is allows you to turn things off you're gonna select something press OK on the remote and hold it and yeah you're gonna to wanna to do this just to make sure your performance is good alright so we're out of that 
your settings are still the same but there is a difference now to adjust display you don't do it under display where you want to go if you want to adjust your display is the GBox settings and from here you have this menu go to display position and here's where you adjust it alright the OTA updater is now called the system updates and you'll see it doesn't display update 1.1 because we've already upgraded past it we do have a bit of a change here you can no longer select manual you can let it check according to their standards you can still choose your update types and I still recommend stable updates but if you want to check out their experimental things go for it but might run into a problem but I like the changes they've made I think it looks a bit more crisp and I like the more muted look here instead of the turquoise look the gray but I still find that this is easy to use now if you want to uninstall something like I downloaded this Contra game but it's not really set up to work on an Android setup like this because I can't touch the screen you go to apps you select it and press uninstall very quickly uninstalled Contra. Alright, well that's our video. I hope this was helpful. For more information on Gbox, streaming, Matricom, and all there is to see on this, check us out at thestreamingadvisor.com www.thestreamingadvisor.com Please like this video. Suggest it to your friends. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Downey, The Streaming Advisor.